everybody. So, probably a quick little one here tonight. Probably a quick little one. Ah, no, shut up, me. Why, why, why? Why does YouTube think that, oh, yeah, you're streaming, so I think you really want to hear your own voice when you're previewing your own stream. That seems like a reasonable thing that reasonable people would like. I don't know why that just doesn't default to be muted. Anyway, hey, Logan, Blake, and Nexter. Hello, Parker, ob obscuring my entire desk. Thanks for that. Um, oh, wait. Oh, right, I can't use the sound. Hold on. Well, let's see if the sound works today. It was working. I tested with Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, and it seemed okay. But... Okay, never mind, no. <laughs> it's still bad. Okay. Um, let me get... Quest music. No, honey... You're kind of really in the way. Um, ugh, no. Wait, no, I need a playlist, though. No, ugh, park, 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 please. 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 Okay. Ah, loud. Okay. All right, how does that sound? Uh, it looks, it looks, so, the levels look okay. Hey, Toby. Um, so, I don't have my full battery, but we should still have an okay time stream here. I'm trying to catch my two least favorite Pokemon, which happen to be the two rarest in terms of, like, the highest chance that they can visit. Um, Mr. Mime and Jinx, because you can't make a special, you can't make the highest level of the food that they require. So they have a 3.33% chance of appearing each. So I've made like two dozen of these stupid dishes today. The brain food lunch, whatever. And um, I still haven't got them yet. I've just gotten like 18 billion slow pokes and uh, some drowsies. Parker, would you please? My triple Starmie team has actually been doing fantastic though. In fact, I'm actually pretty unimpressed with Mewtwo's performance here. He's um, eh. He's got better HP. But he does way less damage, and so I think he would be best as like a bulk up, like a buffer backup kind of guy. Um, but I haven't gotten bulk up on him. I've been trying to change his moves, and the game does not want me to have bulk up. I have Giga Impact right now, which is really bad, actually. <laughs> but uh, Hydro Pump Starmie without a Whack Whack Stone has been fantastic. Um, if you use a Whack Whack Stone, they kind of attack too rarely. Um, I actually find it best to not use Whack Whack Stones. Tobe? Tobe? Uh, uh, to tube? I'm not sure how you would say that then. Hey, C Peach. Thanks for all the help, C Peach, by the way. Assuming you're, I'm assuming you're the one in my Discord. Uh, thanks for all the help with the gardening events. It's not always easy to find people with all the extra bugs. But yeah, this far, my uh, team has pretty much evolved to three Starmies for now, with all with Hydro Pump. And uh, I've gotten all the way to the last level of Happenstance Island. I'm not sure I can beat that quite yet, but I can beat up to that one pretty handily. Uh, it's a little hairy with Starmies. Starmies are basically the ultimate glass cannon. Watch this Hydro Pump. It just does crazy damage, and um, with enough hit healing stones, they really just heal themselves. The problem is that their HP tops out at around, like... Maybe 4,000. Oh, oh, st stupid thing. I hate how it does that. I don't know why this game doesn't keep the screen on. I'm going to keep my finger on the screen. I don't usually play it entirely on auto, but. Speaking of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, I think I can stream that now with even less issues than this game. Also, the colors will look better this stream because I, um, the Chromecast outputs in limited color scheme, which I hate. But, um, I had to change my Mediacom. Mediacom don't. Ho don't. Okay, and, uh, I'm just gonna lower the bit right. We might be having some internet issues. Let me just pop that bit right down. We're streaming a compressed stream already because this is Chromecast. Doesn't need to be that high. But yeah, I set my capture card to limited colors for this. I hate to do that because then I forget to switch it back. And then like I'll stream something else with a limited color palette and it sucks. But I used to have to do this a lot with the Wii U. 
I'm so glad the Switch has full color. It's like, ah, oh. there they are. There they are. Those are those ugly some bitches that I need to catch. I've been trying all day. I just need one of each. How is Mr. Mime even a Pokemon? Like I've never understood. It's just a, it's just a creepy mime. It's, it's, it's not a Pokemon. I refuse. Jello event. Is a Jello event? And I, I saw the update, but then. I hate updating Animal Crossing Pocket Camp now, because I get an update, and then it's just like, oh, it's just new loot boxes. It's like, oh. Oh, this is also my really good, but does not have Hydro Pump yet, Starmie, that I'm leveling up. I actually have four Starmies now. Three have a Hydro Pump, and this one, it has a really good move slot, and uh, has one extra H, like, it's problematic. Uh, me? Uh, it just went, it just went to zero for a second. Are we still okay? I just cut the bitrate again. We're gonna be streaming at like the bitrate of my Chromecast itself in a minute here. <laughs> Ugh. What bandwidth is a Chromecast anyway? All right, it looks, it's green now. So hopefully that's okay for now. Ugh, scatter shots don't, I hate those. Those aren't very good. Hey music. Via Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, I can stream over the Chromecast, and uh, even the music and audio is okay. This game seems to use higher CPU, so I can't uh, I can't play the music. I just gotta use. I'm just playing a YouTube playlist of the game's music. All right, here we go. Will we get my least favorite Pokemon? Actually, I don't know if I could say they're necessarily my exact least favorite, but. They've definitely never improved in ranking. I think that fish from Gen 7 might be might be a new least favorite. I hate that fish a lot. It's like, hey, you know you know what's a good Pokemon? A sexy fish. Bob, what what, what are you talking about, Bob? You know, a fish that you wanna, you know, have some carnal pleasure with, Bob. Bob, you're not allowed to design Pokemon anymore. No, no, hear me out! It's a fish, and it's got some lips that really make you feel in your pants really tight. Bob, you're fired. But they still made it anyway. They didn't have enough Pokemon, so they had to use Bob's. That's where Solomonas came from. Not Solomonas. <laughs> um, what's the Salamander thing? What is the furry bait from Gen 7? You know the one. Salanda evolves from it, or into it, rather. I've been seeing a lot of these boys. I've seen a lot of those boys. I don't need- I, I have- I have enough slowpoke. So the good news about this is I can use these- since they're all psychic type, I can use them to uh, level up my Mewtwo and my Starmie. So it's not a big deal. Uh, it is annoying that I have to use- if I just wanted to get a bunch of stuff to- oh, it's another drowsy. <sighs> 3.3% and I need to get two of them. Two of them. Also, I don't I don't know what people are saying about having like super high shiny luck in this game. I must have summoned 300 or 400 Pokemon by now. Still haven't seen a single shiny. What does Brain Soup do? It summons uh, Psychic type Pokemon. What I'm trying to get is Mr. Mime and Jinx because I'm missing them for the Pokedex, but it doesn't want to give me them. Parker, Parker, don't kiss the mic. Parker, get your foot off the keyboard, please. Parker, just sit down. Yeah, I guess I can show you my Pokédex real quick here, too. Ooh. Our stream seems to be okay now. Yeah, we're just missing uh, 13 Pokémon here. We got all of them starter boys. Got all of them early game boys. Got all of these. Share the event preview in Discord. I'll take a look after the stream. Did it post my yet? Yeah, did. Okay. Oh, it's red. Oh no, he's gonna cost more tickets, and I don't have tickets. Oh man, game. Why do you do this to me? Um, so after Exidor, I th think that's Jinx and uh, Mr. Mime there. Then there's Hitmonchan. 
Then there's... Um... There's a lot there, isn't there? No, I'm missing Vaporeon. I'm missing... Pinsir. Um... Who else am I missing? I'm missing a couple more here that I don't remember. I'm missing, uh... Moltres and uh, Zapdos and Mew. Mew, who is understandably rare. Who the heck are these other ones? I don't remember those slots at all. Ugh. You know what? Let's find somebody with a higher percentage rate. Now, I definitely got Staryu. Um, I've been using the IGN wiki for this, by the way. I recommend it. Um, let's get him on Chan, maybe. Uh, Pokemon. Quest. Can't seem to get a Magikarp. Yeah, I think Magikarp is rare in this, because, you know, it evolves. Into Whoa! 50% chance to get from Get Swole Soup special. That'll be real easy, hopefully. Wait, it lied to me. Wait. It says on him on Chan's thing, it says special is 50% chance to get it. But on the Get Swole Soup thing, it does not have a special... ...mix. It is impossible to create a special quality version of this recipe. Oh, great. Cool. Well, we just have a 22% chance. But whatever. So we want Tiny Mushroom, Blackberry... Honey, bone mushroom, oh, two honeys. Everything needs honey. I'm always low on honey. So I guess we'll just make four of these and hope for uh, Hitmonchan. I won't be using him, but I want one for, no, there we go. I want one for completion's sake. And yes, it's genuinely called Get Swole Soup. Honey Balm. Tiny Block. Now that I have all the upgrades for like drops, um, I get crazy amounts of drop of uh, ingredients from each run of that later happenstance levels. I get like over a hundred items total. It's really nice. Um, yeah, that's good. Unfortunately, I think I unequipped one of my good Starmies, or did I? Maybe I didn't. I forget. I think I might just put my less good stones on my trainee boys. Uh, oh, yeah, they're still equipped. My creatively named Starmies. Uh, yeah, hopefully they're ready to go. Ugh, I, I hate the... Th Everything that I need to attract the rare Pokemon cut, takes five turns. You know, I'm feeling brave. Let's lose to the final area. I doubt I can beat it, but... I'm better equipped than I've ever been before. I can do the second to last one without too much trouble, but this one's really unfair. You'll see why in a bit. These are extended a little bit too long. Oh, it's almost over. These are extended to 15 minutes. Hey, son! So this is the true power of Starmie. You just spam the heck out of Hydro Pump and it does so much damage. And it homes on things. Like, look at that damage! Like, Mewtwo with Psychic? Like, I was told to try to use Psychic with Mewtwo. And it does like 5,000 on an initial hit. And like 4,000 on a secondary, which isn't really guaranteed. Whereas this does 10,000 per hit, and it can get up to four hits each. 
And it almost always hits at least once because of the uh, homing. It's just it's just the best skill, really. I would like to have one character with bulk up. So that's what I want my Mewtwo to be for, but it doesn't have it yet. And the game doesn't, like, is giving me super low percentages for, like, ability to learn new move. No, no, do the thing, yes. Okay, see, this is the risk of the star use, or the star me's, rather. Run. Run! Fly, you fool! Aw, oh, come on. Look at that, look at that sliver on Starmie 1. It was ready. Ugh. Whatever. Blech. See, that, that's why I could use a bulky mon. It's, this team tears through everything, but it's super risky. Did you get the Loach, son? I'm wondering if there's like a special decoration for buying everything, because there was- I got a premier ball for buying like most things in the store, and I didn't know that existed. And I don't know if there's a thing you can get for buying all of them. It'll still be like another week or so, maybe more, before I get that. But I only have like three or four items left to buy actually, in the store from the Pokemon ticket store. Biggest danger of this team is losing Starmies faster than they respawn. Losing one isn't a big deal as long as they're healing. Like, because they're healing as they do damage. As long as they don't- multiple Starmies don't get hit with like a one-hit KO attack. Like, that just happened right- oh. yeah, Everything has like one-hit KOs in this area. Like, my Starmies are a little squishy, but they're really not like that squishy. Like, they have, at worst, to fit, like, one half of the HP that, like, a super tanky. Or maybe a third, but, like... They have, like, a third of, like, the mo absolute bulkiest Pokémon possible. Though I don't have the absolute best stones yet, either, but, like... They should be able to take a hit. Like, come on. But whatever. I'll just do the second to last level. I've gotten to the second to last wave in this twice, actually. I don't usually fail this early, so I don't know. That's just kind of bad luck. But the second to last wave is all three legendary birds, and they spam tons of, like, high damage AoE things, and it's really, really annoying. Um, I haven't got past that. I assume the next one is, like, Mew, or maybe Mew and Mew 2 or something? Is only Gen 1? At the moment, yeah. We don't know if it's going to be expanded or not. I figure if, like, if it's popular and stuff, it probably will get, like, a Gen 2 update at some point. It seems to be their modus operandi these days is go with Gen 1 at first and, like, add more later if it's popular enough. Which is kind of a shame. I, I'm definitely not a Gen 1-er. I, I can kind of see why, you know... For one thing, it's just like to create so many art assets for so many Pokemon at once. Yes, that's a problem. I just wish on occasion they could be like, you know what? Let's make a Gen 2 game. Let's just put in the 100 new Pokemon from Gen 2. Or, you know, something like that. Obviously, they'd have to like shoehorn Pikachu in there and some crap. But, you know. What type of attacks they use, I'm not sure what you mean. Attacks in this game are based on, like, regular Pokémon, turn-based Pokémon moves, but they don't work quite the same, because, I mean, it's an action game. Um, some moves that are clones in the regular Pokémon games are not clones in this game, and uh, it's kind of interesting. Like, I think Hydro Pump, isn't Hydro Pump a clone largely of Fire Blast or is Fire... No, Fire Blast is a little bit different. It's not a direct clone. But, um... 
Now, for example, Giga Impact is a clone of Hyper Hyper Beam, but physical instead of, you know, special. But that's they're totally different in this. No, they both have charged. You know, they both charge up. So type doesn't matter. Uh, type does matter, but not as much. Ah, oh, crap. Well, so you can only bring three Pokemon, and you can potentially have, like, nearly every type as enemies, so you... can't worry about it a whole ton. One of the surprising little good things that makes Hydro Pump so good is that you you do this little skedaddle back when you start it up, which can move enemy you just out of the enemy's attack range, and uh, really save your booty. But yeah, Pokemon definitely don't seem to resist types that they should. Um, Quite as much as they would otherwise, and uh. Here we go, Water Boys. I don't like being surrounded by all those squirtles. Bosses are actually kind of a lot more dangerous with their trash mobs in this game. At least with my, my team, because. Like, if the trash mobs spam their skills, they can take out a Starmie or two. Like they just did. That's that's real bad. Um, run. No, run! The run button just really does not work very well. I don't know why it's recharging so slowly. Run! Fly, you fools! Oh, you idiots! Yeah. Alright. <laughs> this game can be a little janky. Like, sometimes my Pokemon just, like constantly drift in a single direction and it's actually usually really good because the AI does not like understand how to react to that at all so I can actually finish this. I can beat the second to last one. I have done it a few times, but... The damage scales up like crazy in this. If you get hit by an enemy that uses Explode, like Execute or uh, Voltorb, I've had I've seen a Voltorb deal 800,000 damage in this game, which is like 100 times, well, 50 times the highest amount of damage or you can possibly take in this game and live more than 50. This game does unfortunately lag a little bit on my phone sometimes. And then sometimes it like speeds up and doesn't know what, what, what it's doing. But I gotta be real careful around these executes. Because if they want to explode, they will just do horrible, horrible things. I don't know why sometimes the Hydro Pump thing just does not aim in the right direction at all. Oh yeah, and sometimes when you tell them to run, they just run into an enemy or a wall. They're, they're, they're not, they're not that smart. It's a shame. Would you, would you use your skill? Wait. Did he just not use his skill? I, I, I told him to Hydro Pump and he just didn't. I swear. There we go. Okay. See, we're gonna be fine because the Starmie will uh, respawn between waves. We're not always so lucky, but... Where, where are my other Starmies? There you are. No, use your skill! I don't know, sometimes it doesn't register. See, these guys do take reduced damage because they're grass type. It's like 20% less though, not 50%. I'm 
Maybe they don't... Actually, I don't know if they take reduced or not. Eh, yeah, it's reduced. Weedle, actually, of all Pokémon escaped me for quite a while in this game. I didn't even I didn't even realize cuz like I I was not thinking that I would even be missing such a common pokemon, but I was. Come on, take out beat your butterfree. Butterfree. I'm okay, dad. I'm not sure what that, like, split laser thing that Butterfree does. I don't know if there's, like, a super spread out Psybeam or something. I find it kind of funny. Even in these games that only do Gen 1, they, they gotta use all of the new moves. Uh-oh, Raichu. See, I will do, like, take a little bit more damage. Not that it really matters a lot. It's usually just... With Starmies, it's just like... Is it a one-hit KO or not? Because if it's not, it's probably not a big deal. If it is... It is. Man, he's a big boy. Okay, run. Run! Not use your skills! I can't even tell where blue is. Oh, blue is at the bottom of the screen. Okay, if we can take out the little Pikalings, which they're doing an abhorrently bad job at doing, we might be alright. Come on, please just finish them with a normal attack. little pickling. That's all you gotta do. Just one. Just one 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 dab will do it. Oh come on. Alright, there's there's that's two. Right, I think we, we 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 got this. This is kind of frustrating. Look at my star are just colors. Well I mean I can't tell I I can't even tell which one is which other than the color. Well, I guess it does say their name at the bottom there. Oh, tr please, just get rid of that one last Pikachu. Please. Attack him. Wait, what? what? I didn't tell him to do that. <laughs> I did not tell him to Hydro Pump. I don't... Sometimes they just do that. I don't know... I don't know what that is. Sorry, there was a fly. Also, these are supposed to be long-range Pokémon, and they love just sitting right up next to bosses. I don't know why they do that. Magnemite does a good job at staying away from things for the most part, but the Starmies kind of don't. You see, look at all of the ingredients we get from that. And that's why I tend to, like, I don't risk the higher levels too often, because, like, I'd rather have all that. Nice uh, experience. What have three Starmies? Yeah, they, they kind of are the best. They're the best damage dealers by a lot. Uh, they're glass cannons and they have the best move in the game, which is Hydro Pump. Mewtwo is better statistically speaking, like HP and attack wise, but has worse skills. In fact, its best skill is really bulk up, which, you know, ideally you use to bulk up your team of Starmies. But my Mewtwo does not have bulk up, so. He's kind of terrible. He's not completely terrible, he survives longer than Starmies, but like he does so little damage, it doesn't matter.
As far as how, how many different types only really had one family in um, one or two families in uh, Gen 1. Articuno, Cloyster, and uh, Dugong, I think, are the only ice types. And two of those are evolutions, and one's a freaking legendary. Um, only the ghost family is ghost. Only ghastly and so forth. Only the Dragonite family is dragon. And then rock type is always paired with ground type. There's a lot of like, and like grass, other than Tangela, who, Tangela seems so weird because Tangela wasn't poison type at the time. That's so plain now, but at the time it was like, whoa. It's a very unusual Pokemon. I have an Onyx that I said he's ranged. I guess he spits rocks. I don't know. <laughs> I like how attacks that like make you invisible or stuff like dig. You can still get hit during them. Oh dang, oh dang. No, use your use skill please. Attack him! What are you doing? If Starmie had not bo 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 booted back for that Hydro Pump, I think that would have been a KO. Oh dang, and I've been fighting lots of legendaries and not getting my Mystic Shells, by the way. I've fought three of the legendary Burbs. Uh, mostly Moltres, come to think of it. And uh, the game has not given me the Mystic Shell, so I've not been able to summon more legendaries. I got two Articunos, and Articuno does not seem particularly good. Um, Mewtwo, who's okay. I mean, Mewtwo, if Starmie did not have such an awesome skill, Mewtwo would easily be, like, the best game in the game, but, like, moves matter a lot in this. It annoys me how close ranged Pokemon get to the enemy. Yes! The, the, the... They can shoot from far away, but sometimes they just decide, hey, I'm gonna shoot from, I'm gonna shoot a ranged attack from real close. And it's like, please don't. I think it's partially, I think if a ranged, I think if a close range Pokemon gets close to a, a ranged Pokemon, like there's no attempt to move back to range, but sometimes they just walk straight up. By the way, if you were wondering, yes, it does take till exactly level 100 to get to the last uh, stone slot, which is a shame. The good news is you can get at least all three bingo bonuses at a maximum of around, like, mid-70s, which is still really high. But I have a team of two ranged and one melee that all just hang out together. Yeah, that's pretty common. Also, you get a nice 100 point bonus, uh, Pokemon, like, tickets or whatever, bonus for catching Mewtwo. That was nice. I bet Mew is the same. Alright. We better get Hitmonchan. I'm tired of not getting Jinx, so let's try and get some other stuff. Let's try to get something, period. I don't need you. I'm so sick of Machops. They're one of the most common Pokemon by far. If you bought the NAPs. Uh, yeah, I, I got the IAPs. The in-app purchases. You can unlock most things for free. You cannot get the extra stew pots. And you can't get most of the battery bonuses. You can get one battery bonus. And I suspect there may be a second battery bonus once you buy all of the things you can get for tickets. Uh, get, get get out of here, kid. Get, get, get out of here. Get out of here with your freaking fap arm. We don't care. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've trained away so many Machops. I, I don't like them. Wait, what? 
No, 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 open this one. Please, just, just give me a hit on Chan and I can... I've barely gotten a new Pokemon all day. I got Dragonite from an evolution. And I think that was it. Yes, there he is! Alright, so next up is, uh, Pinsir. At least he's got a good move set up. Not a terrible one. I doubt I'll ever use him. Wait, Shiny. You're just saying Shiny for luck or was one of those Machamps Shiny? I didn't even look. Cause I, <laughs> I was just like, damn, you're not what I wanted. Oops. That's not what I wanted either. Battery's very annoying, I guess, how they make money. Battery just means I play once every other day. But it charges more than once a day. I do wish that all getting all of the in-app purchases just removed the battery entirely, but... It's fairly hard to run down a 9 battery unless you're playing super actively. Hey, Milky the Corgi. So, did I actually get a shiny? Let me, let me check my list here. I don't know if you're just like chanting shiny for luck or if I got one. Oh, for luck? Oh, okay. I, was gonna say, I, I never have shiny luck, so you don't have to bother. <laughs> I did get two shiny Dratinis, so I gave one to a friend who wanted one. Um, in, uh, not in this game, obviously. But, uh, yeah, no shiny. Um... In, uh, what's it called? Gen 7. I was just breeding like 18 billion of them to trade though. So it wasn't really a super big surprise. It's 6 where I am and I only, I've only left my bed for food. It sounds like an ideal life to me. the ideal life. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Just to execute. Wait, wait a minute. Move learning seems to like fluctuate in what percent you get from a Pokemon. Like this used to be really high. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it stays at 12. I just want this Starmie to get Hydro Pump and the game doesn't want to let me. And like I, I tried going on missions to reset it, but like no, it stays at 12. Yes, hello! I'm just gonna wait on that. Yes, hello. I'm just gonna try to get my first three Starmies to level 100. Me. So I have so many extra psychic Pokemon. Uh, oh, is that all? Wait, only three really- oh, oh, this guy. The shame is that level levels after like 50 give almost no bonus. Like watch this. One point. One point. One point. You only get one point, Parker. You would have just knocked my drink over if you hadn't knocked it into my chest. Parkermon, yes. But yeah, you only get one point. I don't know when that starts, but eventually level ups just don't matter other than the uh, stones. Who's my favorite Pokemon? Um, I guess Weavile and Sneasel. But I like a lot. Gengar's really good. There's a lot of really good Pokemon. I don't like picking favorites, but... Parker, you're making my allergies be allergies. Don't let your allergies be allergies. It's like Ab Absol, Gengar, and um, Mawile's good too. I mean, narrowing down 700 things down to one favorite, kind of hard unless you're like, you know, only like specific things or whatever. 
How do you evolve? Uh, evolutions are always by leveling up in this game. You always get base form Pokemon. There's no breeding. Um, oh, right, 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 right. I was gonna cook for... Uh, Pinsir... Pokemon... Quest. Sixteen percent chance from honey nectar. Oh, I never use honey nectar because there's so few bugs and none of them are really worth it At least this is a better chance than uh... Oh, hey, I have a use for my rainbow stuff finally. I never want to use the rainbow stuff So I just don't and it's so it's so rare. You don't want to use it So I'm almost glad I need to use it for this recipe Woo! So hopefully we'll get this. The uh, the Jinx and stuff, they, they need to make it so you can... Like, there should be a higher rate um, stew for Jinx and Mr. Mime, but there isn't because you can't make a special brain food lunch thing. Or, sorry, it's, it's just brain food. Uh, I keep saying that because of Earthbound. You have clumps. I'm getting your clumps out. I'm sorry, live declumping. He's not a fan. He's like, no, that, that is my fur. Why are you putting my fur somewhere that is not on me? That is mine. I grew it myself. It's art, art, It's artisanal. Artisanal. However you choose to say that. Mr. Parker. Yes. You have, no, I'm getting clumps. <laughs> I wish I had a webcam for, for the declump moments. That is still a, a, a patron goal, by the way. We haven't really got up to it, but for 200, once I hit 200 a month, I will, ach, I will get Parker Cam for streams. Oh, happy birthday, Moki, ach, no. See, that's why I take out your clumps. You got a big clump of fur in his mouth. He's like, ugh, what do I do with this? Yes, I know. By the way, if you have any relatives or whatever that like doubt that humans evolved from monkeys, have them watch you like declump a cat. Cause this is like, what I do with my hands here is exactly what monkeys do to clean other monkeys. Parker's just another small furry monkey that as, as a primate, I am inclined to groom. So many clumps. Someone's getting brushies. Well, I'm brushing him now, but I need to brush him more after the stream. All right, let me get rid of this fur, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry to disrupt with with all of the declumpage. Oops. No, no. O open. There you go. Be right back. Alright, back. Aw oh, man, that one takes six turns? We're definitely not going to see the results of that one tonight, I guess. To 
Pokemon in this game ever learn new moves? Yes, uh, you have to do move training. You can't, um, that's the only way to change your moves. Sorry, my chair is squeaky today. Squeaky boy. Um, eh, let's keep going with the safe one. Ah. I really need to expand my box, but like, I, I I don't I don't use like I don't need more stones. And um, I don't need too many of these. Six of each really is plenty for most of these. No, oh, oh, that's the end. Okay. Yeah, I can t toss these. Ugh, yeah, I should probably just buy an extra box. But I want to save up for the last of the, um... Uh, things. The decorations, I guess. The things that give you buffs. You new to this game? It's it's pretty good. I, I think I think the worst thing about this game is it doesn't really explain itself very well. Like when I first played it, I didn't really get it. It just seemed too simple. It seemed like it focused too much around like summoning and waiting and randomness, and it just didn't seem very enjoyable. It's some lag. It's just my phone heating up, unfortunately. I want to get a new phone at some point, but like I don't, I don't like new phones. I don't know what to do. I have a Nexus 5X, and they don't really make anything like this. I guess the closest thing is like the OnePlus 6. Come on, guys, KO it. Uh, but but the OnePlus 6 doesn't have an HDMI out, which I really want because that would make recording easier. I mean, I have this Chromecast now, but it's not quite the same. It's like a pretty good stopgap, you know. I realize this is one of those games that like I'm usually the only person in the room to even know of, but does anyone know if the Legend of Dark Witch games, like if they announced if Dark Witch 3 is going to come to PC or Switch anytime soon? Because I really don't want to buy, like I love that series, but I don't want to buy it on 3DS because I don't play on my 3DS anymore. And because I can't record it on 3DS either. So it's like, I really want the game, but I don't want to get it on the platform it's on. And I don't know if it's going to come anywhere. It's a really good series, by the way. It's a it's a classic Mega Man style platformer, and uh, especially the second one. I would get the second one first, actually. Um, the first one's harder to get into, and it has more bullet hellish bosses. The second one's more classic Mega Man, and I hear the third one's supposed to be really good. Um, There's a speedrunner who I think got to play it early, and I heard some good things, but I haven't been able to play it yet. I have, you need to use a better pot. I'm using... I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to waste ingredients summoning a Pokemon I'm never going to use. The, the pot value has nothing to do with what Pokemon it summons. Because that would be counterproductive. The pot... The quality of the pot only affects the level of the Pokemon you get. I'm not going to waste a ton of materials praying for, you know, a level 70 pincer that I never use. I don't care. I just need these guys for completion. I'm never going to use them, honestly. I pretty much only need my Starmies, and I need some Legendaries, which I can't summon with better pots anyway. Because I'd never have so many Mystic Shells to use. I'm having a heck of a time just getting a one more shell. I've been stuck at two shells for like 20 runs in this dungeon. It's really frustrating. Poor Venusaur looks kind of squished in this game, honestly. Some Pokemon look really good. Like, I think Starmie looks great in this. Um, I think Bulbasaur looks really cute. He looks like he has a, like, a wrapped gift on his back. But some Pokemon look just kind of squished up. P 
Pidgeot, for example, and Venusaur, kind of. I think the ultra-big Venusaur doesn't look as bad as the regular one. But you can't really see his face. I really hate how they're lined up, but they seem to be doing alright. Oh, never mind. <laughs> one hit KO'd. The bad thing about Hydro Pump is that fairly often at least one of the, the, the pillars won't spawn. Because it'll be stuck inside of a thing. Uh-oh, run. Oh, dang. Oh, so close. Run! No, run, 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 run! No, run! You idiots! Oh my god! <sighs> one more cast of Hydro Pump and I would have been good. But he wouldn't run! Come on. Ugh. That's the annoying thing about the, the Starmies. I really wish I could get some more... Oh no! I forgot to put out two of the pots! I think I got distracted while I was doing that. Let me get that recipe back up. There's actually very few recipes that actually need or are improved in any real way with the rainbow matter, so I'd be very conservative with those. Uh, the IGN wiki has all the, the best ways to make all the different things. Is this the lemon? <laughs> no one is streaming at 1080p. I don't know why I stream at 1080p most days. <laughs> I should really just take it down to 720p. It would lower my CPU usage. But yeah. This music is too intense. Let's get something that calms. Oh another boss. There we go. I really love the environments in this game. I, I wish there was a mode where you could just walk around and look around and maybe take pictures or something. Put a freaking Pokemon stat mode in this game. By the way, how, how, how lame was the, the Pokemon Snap-ish mode and the photography thing in uh, Sun Moon? That was such a fake out. That was... Ugh. I don't think I bothered getting more than like a couple shots. It was like, eh. Oh, you finished black too? Cool. Yeah, a bigger Pokemon Snap would be great. The only real problem is that it was a really short game. But I really liked it. It's kind of baffling that that didn't have, like, every Pokemon in it, by the way. Like, it's a really small game. And the Wii U came and went without a, uh, that successor everybody wanted because of the stupid little 
tablet thing. Oh wait, this was kind of a waste of hydro pumps, but whatever. Mew! Honestly, it's never a waste of hydro pumps though, because like... You can lose your Starmies so fast. This really is a very risky... <sighs> team setup. It just so, does so much damage. It's, it's delightful. <laughs> Sometimes Parker meows, and then he starts to yawn, and so he doesn't stop meow meowing through the meow. It's adorable. It's a shame that Hydra or, uh, Starmie doesn't get any buff moves in this, because if I could just have one that buffs the allies even just a little bit... Because this game has share stones, so you can share with the rest of your team uh, what should otherwise be a solo buff. Um, but obviously you need stones for that too. Also, I find for Hydro Pump, the best thing you can have is the uh, wide range stone. Because that makes the pillars, it makes it three, or it adds a pillar for each stone that you add. And uh, it really makes it a lot easier for certain things to hit. I also think they move a little bit more freely. They move their body freely when they have the, the thing. Because I noticed the three ones, maybe it's just how it looks, but it looks like the three, the ones that are three wide, move more liberally towards their targets than the, um, the single wide pillars. Though I kind of wish it was extra wide instead of extra long, but... That's good too, because it helps catch them when they're at the very extreme end of the range. Ooh! Ah, uh, but they're all natural HP heal. I don't want it. <sighs> Those are great numbers, but like natural HP healing is like one of the less useful ones. Because my Starmies deal so much damage that all they need is uh, hit healing. You know, drains a percentage of the damage they deal. Oh, out of battery. We got one battery in two minutes though. I'll, I'll use this battery charge. And then I'll be done for the night, because it's, uh, it's a weekday stream. An hour is plenty for a weekday stream. So. How was your day, chat? Mew! Yes! Yes, I will give you brushies. Yes, you need brushies. No, if you sit still, it would be much easier to give you brushies. He tries to help when I give brushies. He tries to help by like rubbing his face on the brush, and like that. That really actually is not conducive to brushies at all. Honey, would you sit some, don't knock my drink on the floor? No. Oh, where did the fluff go? I had a chunk of his fluff on the table. I think it fell off. Oh, would you? Would you hold still, please? No, no, don't bump that, please. He gets very energized when you brush him, which is... Really does not help brushing him. No, don't kiss the mic, please. No, don't, don't do that. <laughs> You're in real pain, you know that? <sighs> yes. <sighs> it's my summer break from college, I've been going out a lot. I miss summer break. Ugh. And my job... The, the, the one major complaint I have about my job is that the vacation days are like hard capped. And... Like the, the, the absolute max we get is uh, 15 days. And uh, you have to work for like 10 years to get 15. So I just have 10. And... It's really not a lot. Ugh. But, uh... Otherwise, I'm in a pretty great place, and it's just... Ugh. What did, what did you do, Parker? That was not me. That was Parker. What did you do? Parker plays. Ugh. Parker, your fur is... Ugh. I'm getting that tingling on my face because Parker Dander is destroying my skin cells. Well, you can't have your fluff clump. That's 
That's mine now. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's a shame, but I guess it's better than a lot of jobs that like, apparently when most jobs say, you can take a vacation anytime you want. What they really mean is that you're never on vacation. And if you take a vacation day, you are still expected to do all of your work. You just aren't in the office while you do your work. And I, I, I kind of prefer this to that, because, like, I'm actually on vacation when I am. But, uh, yeah, 10 is definitely pretty dang low. Well. And I, I kind of suspect that we have the vacation limit we do because of the plant workers, but I work at the office, and I don't think it makes sense to apply that to us, but... I'm sure they just do that for fairness or whatever. But it still kind of sucks. I should really be paying more attention. I'm brushing Parker. I can't do that. This is a this is the high level difficulty thing. No stream cuts this time. No um well, I mean we had Mediacom stream cuts, but no uh Chromecast issues this time, which is nice. Oh god, run! Run! Look at that! Look at how much damage they did. That, that Actually, they would have done more damage to me than they just did to themselves. Like, they just did the amount of HP they had. If they did that, if they hit me, they would have done 800,000 damage. Not kidding. We're in that neighborhood. I've seen that amount of damage done in this game. Would you, do, not, do not sniff my drink, please. No, this is mine. You can't have it. No, 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 put your foot in it. This is, this is, please. No, please. <laughs> he just keeps raising his foot like, I'm going to do it, human. You can't watch forever. Oh, he just left. He's so offended I wouldn't let him put his foot in my drink. All right, Stormy won. Stormy 1, get, get your booty back up. Stormies even have booties. Whatever. Alright. Back up. Hit him. Alright. I have Stormy 1 and Stormy 3. There's no Stormy 2. I forgot to name Stormy 2, but that's fine. I wasn't using Stormy 2 at the time that I named him. Alright. Down to Night of Queen. We got this. Bam! Let's see what the bottom of an Avatar's shoe looks like. What? I'm sorry, what? Excuse me? It's... it's huh? Okay, it still has boss stats, but it's, 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 it's a single far-fetched. And it's not even particularly big. I mean, I, I, it is a bigger than usual Farfetch'd. I thought it was just a regular sized Farfetch'd. <laughs> the most fear, fearsome duck of them all. You can you have to have at least 28 days. That sounds fantastic. Oh god. Oh no! No, 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 no! No, bust! Oh no! He's proving himself. Oh no! Ah, oh, see, a lot of attacks in this mode are basically one-hit KO. And, yeah. Oh well. He's mad that he doesn't get any respect. Poor Farfetch'd. Honestly, that was mostly bad, down to like, a bad arena. Plus, if you lose two Starmies at once, like that, you're generally in a really bad way. Which is annoying, because there's not honestly very much you can do to control that. Anyway, I like that when you when you move to an area, you get to see the Pokemon shuffle around the map, kind of. Uh, Farfetch'd. It's Reach exclusive to Japan. Yeah, I, that's, that's the primary reason I don't play Pokemon Go, that kind of stuff. I... 
not interested in that. Anyway, our battery's dry, so I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, like I said, I can play, um, I can play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp fine now, so we might stream that at some point. I don't know, like, <laughs> that's one of those games that kind of limits how much you can play as well. Not via energy mechanics, but just like, uh, there's only so much you can do, but I might stream it for like an hour for a event or something. You like my background, I see. I know I'll always get a comment from my backgrounds. Hey, Peach. Yeah, I just wanted to show that even- I can even put sound on for here. And it actually works. So, I might stream some Animal Crossing at some point. This is not going to be an Animal Crossing stream now. But, uh... Pretty nice that I can do that. Well, see you next stream, Peach. Speaking of next stream, I'm streaming Mother Gunship, which is like a... FPS slash bullet hell slash crafting sort of thing. It's uh, by an indie dev who does pretty good stuff, and I'm uh, really interested to see that. Looks like it's a higher budget than his last uh, thing, too. So we'll be checking that out Saturday and Sunday. I see the background again. Um, it's the Super Sonico, I think, 2017 um, Valentine's thing. It might be 2016. But yeah. Um... It's going to take forever to load, but that's... I just wanted to show that it kind of works. Oh, here we go. Um, the, the sound effects and stuff don't glitch out like they do on Pokemon uh, thing. Quest. It's a teeny bit laggy, but that's just kind of phones playing, you know, graphics intensive game. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, hope to see you this weekend for those uh, Mother Gunship streams. That should be real fun.